what's up what's up guys welcome back to the channel if you are new here please subscribe and hit that notification bell so anytime i drop you get notified okay thanks for the subscribers for watching and liking okay guys today let's watch the scariest attraction in the world okay please don't forget to subscribe okay let's jump into it these are the most insane tourist attractions on earth visit if you dare there's only so many times you can tell yourself to walk in a straight line before you're frozen in fear ever been scared so bad you felt like jumping off a bridge we need to find the guy who designed this nasty trick and ask him if he's okay really? they say falling's the closest we need to ask him if he's okay really thing to flying there's a ton of trust being placed in that safety net just saying some people in life need a little push others dive in head first either way shot over canyon in new zealand is your hookup for all bungee related madness and shenanigans i've heard this voice in many uh, in many videos many uh, funny videos <laughs> so that so this is the original video let me tell you something. What do you want to tell them? You'll get a real kick out of it. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. This woman has a hot date with a pool full of ice cold water. Well, you'd be wrong. No longer will children be the only ones to enjoy the ball pit. Not to be outdone, Houston has a sky pool of its very own. Take just a few steps forward and suddenly everyone below you starts to look like ants. I think I'll stick to the sun beds, thank you very much. Cuddling up to your sweetheart on the love swing has an entirely new meaning when you're hundreds of feet above the ground. After all, courage is just a love affair with the unknown. This glass bridge in China is one of the longest in the world, coming in at over 1,400 feet in length. I'm scared of height. 1,400 feet? Ah, don't look down, man. I'm scared. Hold on tight, because this attraction's definitely not for the faint of heart. All of a sudden, the lost city of Atlantis doesn't seem all that lost. What's a water slide without the thrill of circling hungry sharks? Insanity by name, insanity by nature. The bright lights of Vegas will be passing you by at light speed as you take a ride on the Stratosphere Tower. I have just one piece of advice for all you thrill seekers out there. Don't look down. The Oblivion roller coaster will literally drop you into the center of the earth and make you regret ever eating that burrito for lunch. What's the sound of hundreds of pounds of water pressure behind you? I'm loving the retro yellow board shorts. <laughs> For the truly brave, the Skywalk in Bangkok will test the nerves of everyone who claims they're not afraid. I'm afraid of height, but I've tried this here in South Korea. I tried it in Busan. There is one in Busan. Oh, what is that? What's the name? Oryokdo Skywalk? Yes, I've been there twice. No, I can try this, but I don't look down because I'm scared of height of heights step out 1030 feet above the thai capital and just pray the reinforced glass beneath your feet can hold your weight nicaragua isn't known for its snowy mountaintops but it is famous for one thing active volcanoes no jamaican bobsled team needed for a ride down the ash and brimstone at a blisteringly quick 50 miles per hour the Swiss Alps are one of the most picturesque places on the planet. Reach out and grab a piece of greenery for yourself at your own risk. From on top of the Adam lookout swing, you can see the Dutch reclaimed land for as far as the eye can see. Just make sure you keep your phone in your pocket because you might lose it. What's faster, a roller coaster or a Ferrari? Trick question. Why choose when you can have both? That's some serious altitude there and what goes up must come down. Led Zeppelin may have been singing about a stairway to heaven, but in China, they've actually built one. The cliffside rotating ladder at Mount Taihong is 10 feet across and over 300 feet tall. I'm just not sure what's worse, going up or coming back down again. Another masterpiece from Six Flags, the drop. That one, going up or coming down, hmm. both scary. Going up, it is scary. Coming down, it is scary, man. If you don't need to look down, but when coming down, you are forced. It means when you are going up, you don't need to look down. <laughs> when you are going down, you need to look, you need to look up. 
Drop of Doom more than lives up to its name as it takes the crown for not only the world's tallest ride, but also the fastest. <laughs> Serious heart attack inducing material. <laughs> Taking a quick dip in the Mediterranean Sea takes on an entirely new meaning when you're free falling face first towards the ocean waves and given a mouthful of salty seawater for good measure. There are much easier ways to build up a thirst and enjoy a nice cold one. It's time to flex those dance dance revolution skills honed by hours and hours spent at the arcade. Balance and timing are all that's keeping you from getting dunked in the water. This is what it looks like when you're too scared to jump from a 154 foot high platform on your own. It's the Sky Park Sentosa on Singapore's Soloso Beach. And if you're too afraid to look down, the friendly staff are more than happy to throw you. Well, doesn't this just look like a big bag of nope? A big barf bag of nope, that is. Rio de Janeiro may have the giant statue, but at Tatahuba Seara Beach, you'll get a chance to walk on water courtesy of this insane slide built right into the sand dunes. Make your first dance as husband and wife all the more memorable by doing a slow waltz in what looks like a glass phone boot attached to the side of a skyscraper. A quick visit to the sky deck in Chicago is just enough to get your heart racing a little more than it should. What do you get when you cross a medieval catapult with base jumping? An experience that's not for... I hope he has parachute on him. The faint hearted. <laughs> I feel like roller coasters are scary enough, but for the Japanese, the diving coaster is best. Splish splash, you've taken a bath. With only a thin pane of glass to hold on to, enjoy the warm summer breeze of Dubai in style as you look out over the Palms Observation Deck. Located on the 52nd floor, look over the edge if you dare. Why am I so scared? I'm not even doing those activities, but I'm scared of my heart racing. Oh. I'm always surprised at people's faces when they cop a drenching on a ride ominously named the Tidal Wave. <laughs> Cable suspension bridges are hard enough on their own, let alone having to deal with the blast of air pushed into you from the hundreds of tons of water falling down the mountainside per minute. The New Zealand wilderness is absolutely breathtaking. Pity you won't have a breath left in your lungs as you pelt through these meandering waterways at jet speed with 360 degree spins thrown in for good measure. Nice. That right there is the face of a man wishing he'd packed a clean pair of underpants. Why are we still here? <laughs> Ay, my money. He's scared. Look at his face. Just to suffer. No safety harness? No problem. Just a guy taking a casual stroll down the wing of the private jet villa to enjoy that gorgeous Balinese beach Whoa. view. Styling and profiling. Guests enjoying a vacation at the Kretia Ubud Resort are free to channel their inner dolphin and dive from one pool to the next. You probably shouldn't do that, though. Exercise bikes are getting really weird. This flying bike attraction in Germany allows riders to cycle a full loop when they build up enough speed. Cycle too fast, and someone's getting dizzy. Remember when you were in kindergarten and you were scared of going down that huge slide at the park? Well, now you can relive that childhood fear for a fee. <laughs> You got, hey, you got two more times. Just when you thought Six Flags have run out of ideas, we get this monstrosity. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Kryptonians get to have all the fun. Swimming across the London Sky Pool is probably going to be your only chance to feel like Superman flying through the skies of Metropolis. If Sir Isaac Newton taught us anything, it's that what goes up must come down. But what happens when this roller coaster takes you beyond the vertical? As they say, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. So why not go find out for yourself? <laughs> Kicking back and relaxing in a hammock is meant to be synonymous with living a carefree life. This man must be crazy. He's there relaxing. <laughs> wow. Style, not perched precariously above a huge gorge. Do you enjoy a rush? Well, how about the big rush? At 262 feet tall, it's the world's tallest swing. The Moses Mabita Stadium's usually packed with 85,000 screaming football fans. But when you take the plunge, all you'll hear is the echoes of your own screams bouncing around the empty seats. 
Save yourself a set of sore legs and an aching back by choosing to enjoy the Cambodian jungle the expressway. Zip lining. Serious cool points for thinking outside of the box and coming up with a way to shake all that sand off and have a ton of fun while doing it. The spectacular countryside of the Amalfi coastline in Italy can only be enjoyed one way, while taking a cool dip on the edge. You can't achieve zen and find your inner peace on an empty stomach. Let's just hope the tide never rises. If you're not afraid of heights and trust the strength of Perspex, this could be the attraction for you. Oh, man. Some of these attractions are very scary, man. I can't even try them. Wow. Okay, guys. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and share. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. You know, as I always say, peace, one love. See you in the next video.